You can use Google Docs to create a discussion board for your classes, and it's actually pretty simple to do. From your Google Docs homepage, go to Create New. We're going to create a document. Obviously, we want to put a title on the document, so I'm just going to call it Discussion. I always want to make sure that I give my students clear instructions, especially on these discussion boards. So I'm going to create a bulleted list, and the first thing I want them to do is make sure that their response is unique. I don't want them copy and pasting someone else's answer. Um, also, it's a lot easier if the students use different font colors instead of it all being in black. It makes it easier to pick out um, the different responses on the discussion. I also want to make sure that it's a legible font color and not bright yellow or light purple or something like that. And something else I want to make sure they do is they need to make sure they put their name next to their response. Okay, now we're ready to create the discussion topic. Um, let's say that it's a science class and I want them to tell me what they know about evolution. Um, a discussion like this actually has a lot of different benefits and a lot of different uses. You can use it kind of as a pre-assessment to see what students know before you start um, the lesson or before you start a unit of study. This would be an example of something that I would ask students if I were teaching about evolution. Before I started the unit, I want to know, okay, what do you know about evolution? Um, this can also be a during the lesson discussion or during a unit of activity discussion. You can have it as a whole class, or you can divide the students up into groups. And when students are ready to post, it's really simple. They just put their name, and they put their comment. And you can put different requirements. Um, you can say it has to be at least two sentences. You can say you want this amount of information in it. It's pretty much up to you at this point. When they want to change their font color, it's really simple. They highlight whatever they said, go up and choose a legible font color. And that's that. Um, the great thing about Google Docs is more than one person can collaborate on it at once. You can have an entire class typing on the same document at the same time. They don't have to um, save it and send it to someone else. All the students can use it at the same time. Another good thing about an online discussion is if you have the quiet, shy kids that don't ever speak out in class, this gives them a really good opportunity to show what they know about a topic without having to worry about um, speaking in front of the entire class. And the same if you have ESL students, ones who maybe aren't real confident in their language acquisition at this point, so they don't talk in class a lot. Um, and basically at this point, all you have to do is provide the link to students. Notice it saves it on its own. One thing you want to do, you want to make this public to anybody with the website. So once you provide the website to students, they are able to edit it. So at the top, where it says private only to me, you're going to click on that. And you're going to change the privacy settings. And you want to allow anyone with the link to edit it. And anyone with the link, if you don't give them access to edit it, then they can't comment on it. So go ahead and allow anyone to edit. Save it and it'll give you a link to share. All you gotta do is copy that link, paste it into a wiki, paste it into maybe a classroom website. If you wanna email it to students, you could email it to students.